All right, guys, we're on a service call here. We got a ream furnace that I put in with an ADP coil. Customer says nothing is coming on. I'm willing to bet that it's this right here is going to be the issue. Yep, it's the drain. The drain is clogged. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get my mighty pump hooked up and get this thing pumped out. Dump the water out of the cup. There it is. That's the issue right there. Gotta tighten that up a little bit. There we go. Tighten up that mill adapter. Okay, I'm gonna go get the pump and pump it out. All right, guys, I was able to uh, get a section of the pipe out of the closet, and I'm gonna hook it up to this faucet here because that's where it looks like it's clogged. See if we get some nastiness out that other end. It doesn't look too bad. It might be the other end that's clogged up. Yeah, I can see. I'm looking down the pipe. I can see all the way down. It's, it's very clear. There you go. Yeah, this is not the issue right here. All right, guys, I got the mighty pump set up into the drain line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my foot right here. Oh yeah, it was definitely stopped up. It's clear now. What a great tool. It even comes with a nub of pipe, you know, to stick in like a coupling like this. Let me get it out. It, it just came with this nub of pipe and it was definitely clogged up. I'm gonna, okay guys, I'm gonna put the pipe back together. Okay guys, the equipment's back online. You can clearly hear the blower running. I heard, I heard the refrigerant flowing through the lines. I can feel it. So we're operational and everything should be good to go. I'll take a walk out to the condenser and just make sure everything looks okay. Okay guys, here's our ICP condenser, AKA Arco Air. I actually installed this one also. It looks, it needs to be cleaned. I'm gonna have to tell him it needs to be cleaned. See if he wants to do it today or wait another day. Uh, if y'all remember, I did a video on this job. The Schrader had leaked on that ADP call inside and lost all the charge. And I converted it over to 407C, but I put this unit in when I was still working for my dad and his business partner before I worked for myself. But uh, still going strong. Let's see, the, the data tag is kind of wore off, but it's a 2006 model. This was a true R22 unit, but you can see I've converted it over to 407C. But if you look uh, right here, I don't know if y'all can catch that. Probably not going to be able to. Yeah, you might be able to see that right there. It says R22. It, it, this is this was a true R22 unit. It was not a dry shipped, so it was one of the last ones. All right, everything seems to be fine. Thank y'all for watching, and we'll see y'all on the next one.